to get a article, an article for your newsletter, navig go and navigate to a site or pages that uh, you like that you think would be relevant for your uh, clients or your uh, recipients of your newsletter. So here's one that I found about, uh, uh, did you know that Skype has a share button? So it's, that might be useful for people to have a, a Skype button on their website, so I'm going to include that in my newsletter. So first thing, navigate to the website, then go to the uh, uh, WordPress curation button that you set up before, and if you click that, it will open up uh, a new blog post uh, in your uh, website, and it's a cut down version, and, but you know you can certainly edit and publish and do everything from here without even going into uh, WordPress. But the way we've got it set up is um, I'm going to want to do a few additional things and I'll walk you through that. So first of all, it automatically puts an excerpt into uh, into bold, uh, sorry, into a, a quote, which I don't really want, so I'm just going to take the quote off. Uh, and you can do things like bold it or italicize or whatever. But at this stage, it's, it's just an excerpt that's, that's all I need. And you've got your visual and text editor. If you're familiar with HTML, you can use your text editor or use your visual editor. And this is the source of the article. You can add categories and tags. So in this case here, it's yeah, social media. It's about Skype's a social media platform, sort of. Um, and it's a it's a help or tutorial as well. So we'll add it to the category of WordPress help. And we'll select some tags, and if you click your uh, choose from most used tags, you can see what else you've used as well. So let's have a look what we've got here. So social media, yeah, it's about that. Probably we'll add in Skype. And what else have we got? Tutorials, help and tutorials. That's probably a good tag to add into it as well too. And then the publish button down the bottom, see there's an arrow beside it, that'll allow you to uh, preview the post, you know what it would look like on the front end, and it will open it up a, a preview screen on your website. And that's that's what, so there's your excerpt, there's the title, there's the uh, source that goes through to the original article, but in this case here, So, I have no idea where it's disappeared to. So we'll go back to the editing. In this case here, you can you can save it as draft, or in this case, in this case, what I'm going to do is go to open the standard editor because there's some other things that I want to do with this uh, post. Okay. So. First thing is, this URL, we'll go to the text editor and I'm going to grab the URL, which is the URL to the article, and paste it in this quick page post redirect in the, uh, for, for the redirect destination URL. What that means is when people click on the, uh, the title or the uh, read more or the uh, featured image, they're going to go straight to the article. They're not going to go to my website, and to the excerpt, and then have to click through the article. So because I'll be publishing the newsletter in email format, all I want them to do is to be able to click on the title of the article and just go straight there. So to do that, we need to make sure that we make the window active. And I am going to add open a new window. Uh, because this excerpt here will show in my blog archive, it means that um, when people click on the title or the read more, again, it'll take them straight through to the actual article itself, this link here. Uh, and it will open it up in a new window as well. So it gives them the opportunity to read the article. Once they're finished reading it, they can close it and then come back to where they were in, the, in my website. The excerpt here is 
probably a little bit short for the newsletter. Oh, first of all, we'll just delete the source now because we've got it down here. The excerpt's a bit short, so we may go and just grab a bit more. Probably a paragraph, I think, from the uh, original article. So let's just get a paragraph or so. We'll copy that and then paste that in there. Okay, so that's that's probably a good possibly grab a little bit more. So, so we've got a good paragraph of text that will show up in the excerpt of the um, newsletter when it goes out. That's probably good. We don't need that there. All right. Now, in this, uh, in this case here, I'm, I'm going to ensure that we've done the SEO on it with the Yoast SEO area. Um, now this page is not going to rank at all because it's just a snippet and um, it's yeah it's just too short to do anything. But I think it's just good practice to get into uh, you, when you're adding an article to your website. You just go and do the SEO anyway, uh, so that you you know you never forget it and um, you've always got. You know, best opportunity to get yourself onto uh, page one of uh, the search engines. Uh, so for the title, if, let's just use the same title. And let's just grab a snippet here and we'll use that for the description. Okay. So the Skype share button's in the title. It's in the URL and it's in the description, so that's all good. The next thing we want is a featured image. So I'll go back to the original article and see whether we can find an image that's suitable here. And if not, maybe this one here would be fine. So let's just save that to the desktop. Give it a descriptive name. I think what's the article called? It's how to add a yeah Skype share button. So I'm just going to use the keyword of the post and make it sort of descriptive about what the uh, article is about. So let's go back to the media uploader and then we're going to grab the image drag it into the media uploader and then give it a title which is just taken from the image name very important to add the alt text and the description the alt text will display if the image doesn't load or people have got image loading turned off so that uh, people will know what the image is and it's also helpful for Google so that when Google crawls the site or the search engines crawl the site they also know what the image is, is about. Set that as the featured image and it's telling us it should be 200 by 200 to be picked up by social media sites so that image is too small so we should have a bigger one. Uh, in this case I wouldn't recommend this I'm just going to enlarge it it's 180 pixels by 180 pixels, this one. I'm just going to bring it up to 200. Let's make it 210, so it's just slightly larger. Save that. Then we'll go back to the featured image. Let's remove the one that we uploaded and we'll grab it again. So it's better if you can get a, uh, a decent sized image and look that all depends on your featured image size in your post. So again give it a title, alt text, description and set the featured image and 
is still giving us the error, but we know that it's the right size anyway, so that's fine. We're not going to publish it immediately. I'm scheduling these posts uh, so that one is published every day, um, and then the uh, newsletter at the end of the week will pick up all of the uh, posts for the last, in this case, seven days. It will put them into, will collate them into a newsletter and send out the uh, featured image, the, uh, the um, title, and the excerpt of the article, and it will send out all of the articles that we've published this week into a, uh, into a newsletter. So I know that I've got one queued in February for the 1st and the 2nd, so I'll set this one for the 3rd of February. And the time, 8 o'clock, that's fine in this instance here. Let's check the uh, title for social media, because this will publish to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Path, uh, and Google+. So how to add a Skype button in WordPress, that's, that's a good um, message for social media. So we'll, we'll leave that. Okay. Anything else we need to do? That looks like we're all good to go. So then we'll just hit the schedule button and that will save this article now and uh, we'll automatically publish it on the uh, date that we've set, February the 3rd. And it will be queued also to be included in the weekly newsletter that goes out to the subscribers. And to check whether it's working, let's just click the preview button and this should take us directly through to the article itself. It shouldn't take us through to the uh, uh, on the website and it's working properly. So that's how we grab content from the web and add it to our newsletter, which goes out to our subscribers.